child has been recently diagnosed with a critical illness, then you're probably going through a grieving process right now. And I just want to encourage you that that's okay. It's okay to take a step back from friends and family to really process the information that has just been hurled at you by doctors. You're going to need some time to process the loss of plans that you had for your child and the life that you saw for them and how different their life is going to be now and, and also yours. I remember when our daughter was first diagnosed, we were at Cincinnati Children's Hospital and we were sitting around this big conference room table with her team of specialists and they were trying to explain to my husband and I the seriousness of Celia's internal bleeding and how life-threatening it was to her. And I could hear what they were audibly saying, but I could not process what they were telling me at the time. I didn't want to. I didn't want to hear what they were saying. And it just felt like sitting in that chair, there were these huge boulders on my shoulders just pressing me down. And I didn't even know how to have a, a chisel to get out from underneath those. I really had to just go home and for several days cry about it and process it before I could really share it with friends and family. And I just want to encourage you to do that also. But when you're ready to share with friends and family, please pick one avenue to do that with, whether it's through social media or family liaison. You tell one person, they tell everybody else, or through a website called Caring Bridge, which is what we used when our daughter was first diagnosed. It can be emotionally draining to have to repeat over and over and over again the horrible news that you got from the doctors because it's like reliving it every time. And whether you are holding back the tears or getting emotional every time, it will wear you out. So pl please, please learn from my mistake and, and don't do that. When we used Caring Bridge, I could just sit down on my computer, I would type it out, and the website would send notification to my friends and family that I had updated the site, and, and the information was out there. They were updated, and I only had to do it once, and I didn't have to relive it again and again and again. And, and it's okay that they're gonna come back and ask you follow-up questions, and they're gonna check on your child, and they're well-intentioned, and that's good. But to have to share that initial information it, it can be draining so so please find one way to do that efficiently and, and just once and once you're ready to share with your friends and family and you're ready to tackle this and to fight for the life of your child come back to, to critically loved i would love to share some practical tips with you on ways to manage your child's health care and if you need a listening ear as someone who has been where you're at, I am more than happy to be that for you. If you can send me an email at tln at criticallylove.net, I'll be happy to reach out and contact you and, and to be that listening ear. I am so glad you're here. We are in this together. Much love.